Hey guys, it's Sheridan here at the museum and today we're going to show you a fun new experiment. First you will need a jar or a plastic bottle of some sort. I have a beaker that has the markings on it. Um, you need dish soap, a tablespoon of dish soap, a tablespoon of yeast, a little bit of water, peroxide, and food coloring. I did the 6% peroxide because it, was, it is a little bit stronger than just regular peroxide, but you can use the um, regular peroxide. First, I'm going to pour my peroxide into my beaker, about 100 milligrams. Okay. Next, I'm going to make sure my soap is in the beaker. So I just have a spoon here just to help me get it out of the container. And it doesn't matter what color soap you use. Next, I'm going to do a few drops of food coloring in there. And then I'm going to pick it up and lightly stir it around. I'm not going to shake it all up because there is soap in there and we don't want it bubbling. So it looks just like this. Next, you have your yeast to the side, your tablespoon of yeast. And you're going to pour just a little bit of water at a time in there and mix it all up. And make sure it's all good and smooth. So it kind of looks like oatmeal when you're done. But this is a crucial part, so you just wanna make sure that these are separate right now. And make sure it's not too chunky. So if it is, you can add just a little bit more water. Warm water works the best, so it's not gonna to be too chunky. And before I pour this in there, I'm going to grab a little pan that I have. You can grab a cookie sheet or whatever you'd like so that the mess doesn't go everywhere. All right, now I'm going to pour the yeast mixture into the peroxide mixture and see if it explodes. It's exploding a little slow, but sometimes if you have the warmer water, it does explode a little bit quicker. There it goes. And that is why we grabbed a pan, so it doesn't get everywhere. Now that you've seen our cool explosion, or some people like to call it elephant toothpaste, show us your cool experiments in the comments below. Thanks guys. 